That would make I could cut that off right about there and right about there and bore a hole in it, make a make a cane. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, I'm a sucker for wood and stuff sometimes, you know. But when I was the wood dauber, I was always picking up old wood, odd shaped tree trunks and stuff like that. And a lot of trash out here right now, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I'll have to get that tomorrow. A lot of trash. Are you here for a pickup? Well, i am got to find out. I don't know if I'm picking it up or not. Okay. Yes, sir. How can I help you today? Uh, I just noticed there's one pill I've been taking. It's not in that last batch of pills I got. And it was my blood thinner. Okay, what's your name? Russell Pearson. Pearson? Okay. Janumet. Hmm. Janumet. What? Janumet and a Torvastatin. Janumet and what? And a Torvastatin. Okay, but what about what about my blood thinner? Sartin. Hmm. Sartin. You're uh, looking for the thinner or the blood pressure? It, I think it's blood pressure. You got a blood pressure that you got on. Um... No, this is a blood pressure they gave me the last time I was in the hospital. Oh, okay. Siddle? Yep. And y'all feel it. When were you in the hospital? Two or three months ago. I should have brought the bottle. There's no blood thinner. There's a blood pressure. There's one for blood pressure. But that's been filled, hasn't it? Um, that one was filled last month. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I've got that. Yeah. But I don't... I'll have to bring that bottle. Yeah, give us a call if you want and tell us what it is. Well, I'm in here every day. I'll just bring it. Okay. All right, well, we can do that then and check All right. it out. Um, but I do have two ready for okay. you. Okay. Okay. All right. Here, let me come over here so you can use this one. Yeah, I meant to bring the bottle. I got it set out there. <laughs> That's what happens. All righty, then. I want you to have this. Uh, 4385 North East 27th Court. Thank you. I'm going to get you to sign there on your left. Okay. Ma'am, are you picking up today? What's the name? You're ready. Thank, you, Thank you, sir. You have a great day. All right.
gonna get me cause that, that all you bought? Yeah, I'm, uh, I just made a nice, uh, what is it, the pork, 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 yeah. you know, slow cooking, about $8, just about ready, mm -hmm. and then I'm, uh, what, what, what year was you born in? 43. 43. Oh, so you don't remember much about the war? No, no. The only thing is what my parents told me. My dad, uh, he served uh, and, uh, well, he got actually found. And he was fighting the Russians. Got captured at the five years. But he said, well, you put your camp for five years. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, after the war, you know, things were bad. Yeah. I mean, uh, my sister a couple of years older, uh, my mother was saying, hey, is that daddy a dead soldier on the town? Is that daddy? Yeah. So you came over here then when you was about 10? No, 13. 13? Yeah, 56. Uh, oh, 53, 50. that's when your dad got home. No, 51 he got there. 51? Yeah, I was seven years, yeah, seven years old. And, uh, Mr. White died. Yeah. Please. And, uh, anyway. You know, there's some of them guys never uh, come home. Oh, no. Hey, look at Vietnam. I mean, that was, uh, during the Vietnam War, you yeah. know, 62 to 66. And when I came home, uh, we were called baby killers. Today, thank you for your service. Oh, wait a minute, you was in the military? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I was here in the Navy. Oh, yeah. son of a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Four I... years, six months, and six days. I got extended because of the uh, Vietnam War. Yeah. I was uh, preparing the nuclear submarines. Yeah. And they extended you? Pardon me? They extended your time? Oh, yeah, because of Vietnam War. <laughs> yeah, I was in the critical rating. I oh. moment well, I, I got out in 60, I stayed in six years. Oh, you did, huh? And uh, I got out in 64, I was in Germany. Where were you at, Army? Uh, art, I was in the Army, Army yeah. artillery, and yeah. um, God, I, I, I still got friends, though. they're dying, <laughs> though, man. <They're, laughs> yeah. I, I only got two or three left. What, what year were you at? 1959 to 1960. I was in four years. I, yeah. I, I, I tried to stay as long as they had let me. Yeah. <laughs> but I was coming up for re-enlistment in 64, and I, uh -huh. Vietnam was looking mighty right. bad. Oh, yeah. And I just, I, I, I got out. I don't blame you. I mean, look how many lost their lives. Yeah. 40,000 of them, body bags. Me, I was a board ship, so I was pretty safe. Yeah. I almost joined the water, the, the, the uh, water of the militia team. Yeah. Uh, today it's the, uh, what is it? Uh, anyway, a buddy of mine joined it, and shit, he just stepped off the ship and uh, a sniper got him. Really? Yeah. Wow. Lose, never forget it. I'll tell you. the demolition team. Today it's a SEAL team. Yeah. And them days it was a beauty team. Oh, yeah. But hey. Hey, I gotta get home. All right, I gotta <laughs> stop by one day and just talk you to you, Phil. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. And there's a man. He was a German national. His dad was a German soldier in World War II. And he was a prisoner of war the Russians had him. And of course World War II was over in 45 and the Russians didn't let him come home 
until 1951. That was so unfair, even if it was German soldier. Just not right. No, I don't want to lose that stick, but it keeps wanting to fall off of there. Yeah, I want to, I would like to stop by Bill's one day. I go by his house every day when I come out here and go back the back way, which like I'm fixing to do right now. How you doing, sir? Hey, how are you, sir? How you doing, ma'am? You know what? I wish I could understand why, what it is that I like about this spot right around me here. What? I mean, what is it? There's trash back there and the limbs back there. But what the heck is it that why I like to come up here, especially right here under the limbs, you know, on the tree and stuff, but what, I don't understand what it is that I like about it. <sighs> Am I peculiar? I mean, just sitting around, listening to the sounds, hearing the bird here and there, and some insects. The wind's blowing, just a, there's a little breeze going. Oh. It's just it's so dang relaxing. I mean, it just... And Bill, that German guy that I was talking to back there in the store, he lives right down that street right there. We'll be going right by his house. Uh, but I sure won't stop in there and talk to him. And he is a veteran. He was in the Navy, the U.S. Navy. His father was in the German Army in World War II, so he was... Uh, the enemy and it just sometimes I get dwelling on people that I mean you you know if a car come flying down through here and flipped over and people would go and risk their life almost to get somebody out of it. You know, to say, do anything to save that life. But then, the government tells us that certain people are our enemy and we gotta go to war with them and we gotta go over there and shoot them dead. Or take them prisoner. Most of the time you just shoot them dead. Oh, I can't get my brain wrapped around that. I, I just can't. I just, I don't know, to go, to, just to kill people. To kill them. You walk down the street and see somebody and you shoot them, that's murder. Then you walk into somebody's country and you shoot them if you're at war, it's it's not, it's, 
it's okay. It's not okay in my book. I don't know how I could have done it if I'd ever been in actual wartime combat or something. I don't know how I'd have done it. I don't know. I'm a lot different now than back when I was in the military. Um, I like this breeze. I like sitting here. Got my little, you know what? I just occurred to me, I need to get my butt home cause uh, my life's coming up in less than two hours. So I need to get my, I was gonna shave. But now I don't reckon I'm going to get to. Matter of fact, I was thinking about going to the barber shop and shave and have them trim my mustache. But I ain't going to get to do that now. I'll show you Bill's house down here when we go by. He's already home. That's his truck I see sitting there. Yep, Bill was in the neighborhood. First time I ever talked to him, I didn't know anything about him, but I heard him talking, heard that accent. And I told him, I said, you either got to be Austrian or German. And he said, German. Because I, I, could, I could pick up on the German accent real, real easy. Yeah, that's Bill's truck. And right there's his little garden thing with his shelter over it and all that. Boy, he had some fine tomatoes back a couple of months ago. Need to get to the house. Need to get to the house. I see, it looks like some trash sitting up here. I see some. I put all my can. Oh, right there's a bag of can. There may be some can sitting down here at that other lady's house. Well, I thought that was an Amazon box. I recognize that number, that 2A6, because I've got a box with stuff in it like that. You know, these people must put feed and seed and stuff out here every day, because there's always squirrels and birds just eating. They got them used to it. They're there every day. Feeding the wildlife. Course, this is Saturday, so he would be home. He would be home. I'd like to see him out playing with that drone of his. He's gone with Lisa. Right, here's another friend of mine that saves cans for me in a bag, but he didn't have none for me this time. He shut the door by the garage door.
That sofa love seat still sitting down there. Gosh, God, just look at that sky. It is just so beautiful. Even with all these wires and clutter down here hanging around. Oh, uh, that sky is just so beautiful. So why does it look so big? I never noticed it looking big till here lately. I, you know, I better get my butt home because I've got that live coming up. And I'm already running late. And I'm just riding around submarine watching, I guess. That's one way you can describe it. Boy, that sun is hot. Oh, first thing, there ain't no shade on this street. street. That's a lot of work. I say that's a lot of work. <laughs> I used to could do it. Can't no more. We, are y'all fixed to cut these down? All the way? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Are y'all fixed to cut these trees down? Uh, just uh, hanging in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah, just uh, hanging in the house. Not whole tree. <laughs> okay. Just like the trees. <laughs> yeah, just uh, hanging yeah, in the house. Yeah, I don't house. like nothing hanging over the house. I wish our landlord would get that one cut that's hanging over us. Oh, yeah? I look for that thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's one of them that's like this. Yeah. And it's as big as that tree there, and it really ever falls on the house. Like this one? Yeah. And, so what? She's gonna pay. He's gonna pay, or he won't pay. Huh? He won't. He, he won't do it. They don't want to pay for oh, it. He's gonna pay. He's gonna do it. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, that was something said to my people. Uh, oh man, I was scared to stay up so uh, up so. Yeah. I'm gonna do it with my, my friend too, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, y'all have a good day. Oh, you too, sir. Thank you. I'm going to the house. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm so done. I went and stopped again, sitting there and shooting my mouth off, knowing I got to get to the house. How you doing? Yeah, stop. Talking to people like I got all the time in the world. Most time I do, but I ain't got it today. I'm not sure. I don't even have my phone with me, so I can't even tell what time it is. <coughs> I'm gonna tell you what, that garbage pick up people they they didn't pick our stuff up and that's the limit we can have out there at one time and they don't come back till Tuesday so they can be prepared to pick that up plus Tuesday's trash I'm gonna call them again Monday morning ask them what the heck happened <laughs>